What's up guys? This is the Roverman and we are back to bring you the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as the Italian States. Sort of round off up last time, uh, we are fighting a somewhat of a recurring battle against the Spanish because they... Uh, they are causing some quite infuriating moments for us. I mean, I want to break their hold on this part of the world as quick as possible to help strengthen our coffers to respond to either the Ottomans or the Swedish from attacking us. The problem is uh, they are all in one giant alliance. The Ottomans, the Mughals, the Spanish, the Russians, the British, every major faction left is in a giant alliance. So when they declare on me, it's it's going to be huge. <laughs> it's going to be massive. Um, which is probably why I'm going to try and... I'm going to need to cultivate some more friendly... Their relationships. I mean, the Ottomans are very friendly with me. Prussia's unfriendly, but they didn't really doesn't really matter. See, Sweden's very friendly um, because well, we have very positive relations with them, which I'm hoping is going to overrule significantly their desire to try and attack the human player. Whew, see, I thought they were going to go and try and uh, take Madrid because Madrid is currently unguarded. But we do have um, troops on the way being recruited in the city. So my men are going to be ready when the time, when they're available to attack um, to attack uh, Morocco. Good. I'll start thinking I hope they can't make it to, to Madrid in one turn. I didn't think they could because they weren't on roads and they were in hills. Um, but I'm glad they didn't. But I really need to make sure I uh, win and take out at least one of my main enemies. And it's very tempting to continue and attack Britain because I'm at war with them. So I can try and knock out another big enemy without declaring war on any potential new combatants. There we go. So, uh, so you've got one new set, one bunch of troops as a garrison. Yep, can't attack. We can't attack the city because we have we can't cross over the uh, the gap. The Spanish are completely blocking it. But what is potentially likely to happen is when these guys are replenished, um, put Lisbon under siege. Because I can't really move anywhere with these guys. So I might just go and inter... Mm. don't really want to go intercept, because that's kind of why you start to generate armies here. To do that interception thing for me. You are going to continue on to uh, Lisbon. Because I'm pretty sure we could probably hold against these guys. I want to pull my militia back, just to provide some extra... <laughs> extra muscle. I'm pretty sure we can. We can hold. Because lots of these guys are pretty pants in melee. I mean, they've got one unit of marines and a unit of guards, but that's not too big of a deal. I don't know, maybe I ought to uh, send a detachment of infantry up to the city. Too bad they can't... <laughs> Okay, they can w get to the bridge and then walk around it, but not go in. <laughs> okay, that makes sense. Yeah, no, I don't want that either. Well, either way, plenty of troops there. And I can pick up my only militia down here. Well, if I've got an army going to threaten Lisbon, this army just is a blocker to stop attacks from, from, uh, from Tangier. So we've recruited a new general, Mario Torricelli. Line infantry. Line infantry. Got some cavalry. Uh, what I could really deal with, do with, because they've got so much cavalry, is pikemen. 
Can't get Swiss Pikemen. Do not have access to them. So instead, let's pick up my own, some more Regiment of Horse. Got one unit of Dragoons, actually, so I probably won't. I forgot. Okay, four Regiment of Horse. That's a pretty good anti-cavalry detachment. So they're going to raid, and that's okay. These guys should be able to march straight into the action. Let's actually do this to make sure our army's as strong as it can be. So I'm not so worried about them. Get our grenadiers back. Because these guys can't do anything until they leave. But these guys abandon the city. And do you get militia? Just, just to help start to swell your ranks. The answer to that is maybe control of works and a successful mission. Okay. You join the army. And let's, let's just deal with this. Let's just get the city back under our control. It's such a small army, I wasn't going to fight it. Let's get seven grand turn. Maybe you want to trade now? What I'm hoping is actually Sweden is not allied with the Netherlands but allied with Britain and Russia so maybe this little faction, this little country, may be what tears this global alliance apart. We can dream. Because right now, you think Amsterdam rebelled against Amsterdam rebelled against the Swedes. <laughs> Do I want to intercept? Do I hell? So we are going to be in an interesting position here. Depending on what Sweden does. We are in a position to assault every one of their cities. I think. My army can siege Lisbon. My Gibraltar army can cross the gap and hit uh, Tangier. My army in Rome can sail and land in Cagliari. So we will be very close to the end of the Spanish faction. And we'll have a bunch of troops at our disposal. See, our trade is being blocked, which is to be expected. But you can see they have not. We can now cross over the gap, currently being currently replenishing. But let's just put the city under siege for now. How garrisoned is Lisbon? Very garrisoned is the answer to that. But we've got mortars and quicklime now, so I'm going to maintain the siege there for the meantime. Let's just get all these guys inside. It's probably... I can probably send a handful down south to go kill them. So you can just... They shouldn't be able to route... Oh, I was about to say they shouldn't have been able to run faster than my men because they've got artillery. But I suppose they've been killed. Oh, it's just the artillery that's left. Prepare the palatial estates. Let's... Keep doing this. Actually, let's repair this building, see if we can entice them to come backwards. You guys are replenishing. So I do think I am going to attack Lisbon this turn. I'm just checking to make sure there's nothing super interesting that we can do. Because they know the end is near. The end is very near. So let's go take a fourth rate. There 
this army, get aboard ship. Oh, we're actually going to attack the city now. <laughs> I didn't think you could normally do that, um, landing without a secured port, but let's let's do it. <laughs> let's take Cagliari. Then the remaining Spanish cities are under siege. And I think my plan will be to build limited garrisons in Lisbon and Morocco, but send a stack or two up to the British Isles to help secure those territories as well. So let's keep our howitzers mobile. God oh, damn, that's a lot of that's a lot of cavalry. Actually, all my cavalry is going to be on the right. Let's push my guns up, just because it makes sense. Let's run a regiment of horse up to go spur with those carabiners. Let's get the rest of our cavalry out on the flank. Three pound of horse artillery plinking at us, but that's not a concern. Actually, you guys might be okay now. To be in range of most. Turn fire all off. Let's dice up the carabiners. Send some of our infantry to secure the high ground. Send some guys. Ooh, okay. I actually, probably want line infantry on the flank. Damn, I didn't get my orders in, so they're probably going to hit the artillery. Yep, they have. Okay, pull back. You guys are all going to have fire at will on. Keep pushing. Charge in to take him out. Push you guys up to here. Okay, let's start to pick good quick climb targets there we go this is where the fun begins want these guys to get involved in the combat, but I think I kind of... No, they're shooting into the back of them. They're okay. This foot infantry unit's probably going to get absolutely pasted, so let's pick new targets. Okay, let's send those in as well. Go get the general's bodyguard. Let's take him out. Mm 
you guys form line. Lovely, lovely quick climb. There's a pretty good line infantry. Not good enough though. <clears throat> Not good enough for us. Okay, you guys fall back. Form a new line. In order to allow us to push up our line here. Kill the enemy general, which is always a nice bonus. So I'm not interested in chasing them down because it's a city battle. What's this guy doing? This madman. Can we get one of these guys to start hitting? Let's get these. Actually, let's get retarget. The foot line here is going to be more than enough to absolutely pace the 17th here. Fire our calm citizenry won't be here for very long. They're losing men rather fast. But they did stick around for much longer than, than I would have thought. Okay, let's start to push up. <clears throat> oh damn, my voice has got funny. Okay, then push up. Get one of the artillery units to drop a quick line on those guys, and one guy, to, one unit to stay firing at the rear. Let's push a unit of militia in straight ahead, and then push a unit of inf line infantry around the flank. Good God, we've killed half of them in one volley. Good stuff. What about you guys? Did you get a good dose of quicklime? Not close enough, apparently. Yeah, send some cavalry to to, ch to kill men. <clears throat> God damn! I'm gonna clear my throat a second. Holy hell, that was odd. Right, so let's take those guys, sprint them down the line. Oh, the 17th have come back. Let's get one of them to go chop down the 16th. These guys can go wait for the militia to show up. The dragoons fall back. <sighs> glorious, glorious quick line. Route you devils! You've been slaughtered! There we go. And these men form a new line facing the enemy threat. <laughs> Keep those dudes where they are. Start dropping quick lime down the center. Oh, these men think they're winning slightly. Against line infantry. 
militia, grenadiers. I expect your behaviour to change. Especially with some cavalry charging up behind. There we go, more shots going in against the 17th. They're, in charge. They're engaging my line infantry from the front, but from the rear, I am sorry. Halt fire. It's like, why have they stopped firing? Oh no! These guys are still sticking around. Let's speed up time. Cause these fellas are done for, as are they at the back. Although they're probably too close for quick climb, but whatever. Too bad you can't engage, but everyone else can. There we go. A few quick close volleys and they're done. Excellent. So we've conquered the territory and our army will rebuild and go to push out and kill the last remaining forces here. You go back to a safe haven. To be honest, I could, prob I could probably kill these guys. Got lots of mortars. But we've probably got. Oh, no, we've not got a super good amount of infantry. Maybe next turn after I'd like to. I'd like to try and kill. I'd like to bring these guys over to reinforce. I, I do want to assault Lisbon. I really do. Okay, I'm going to hold out for one turn because then next turn things should fall out and everything should start to be working better. Okay, you're still... Everyone's everyone's doing okay. We're not going to get much income, understandably, because we're at war with Spain and they're going to come after us and kill us. I feel, I feel pretty confident with this mount, with this much line infantry against defending from such a small Spanish army. Yeah, I'm going to hit in turn and have one cycle of seeing what... <laughs> okay, Lisbon's going to sally out. Let's do this. So... Ah. God darn it! <laughs> So I had planned to assault Lisbon, but like I said, next turn, I'd either go for that with those three line infantry. I was either going to attack that cannon, or just move them straight to um, move them straight to Tangier and then assault. Because I'm ahead, I'm like, right, either of these options is good. Well, I'm probably going to sit over. To be honest, both of these positions are terrible. Let's probably go over here. If I had to choose, I'd probably go over here. I mean, granted, they're all... It's a pretty... Strategically, it makes sense. Because they're all, you know, they're defending at the top, the top of a hill. But it's frustrating from my perspective, because I'm like, come on, I just want to... 
just want a nice piece of flat ground to defend on. So I'm not afraid to do this. I'm not afraid to just deploy right at the back of the map. Make sure I do bring my general over. So where are your gunners? See? One of the problems with having massive forts is that your gunners are really far away from the action. And holy hell, they're actually shooting at them. Because the guns are elevated, pointing up, like, naturally, they're actually bombarding the centre of the town. That is fantastic. Like, I don't think I've seen that before. Whoa, okay, hold on. Ah, the conquistadors got too close, <laughs> and they were the only target for my quick climbing mortars. How it says rather. Okay. So all of my guys, all of my mortars, aim at this particular infantry unit. Poor devils. Poor conquistadors, I mean, look. Let's watch the quick climb come in. Oh god, I sped up at the wrong time. And they missed, slightly. Yeah. Yeah, they're done for. The mortars are falling back. Cavalry's pushing around on the flank. Cuirassiers and conquistador, so heavy cavalry. The line infantry's gone. Let's bring my other cavalry over. And let's start to uh, pick these guys as new targets. Except for you. You aim for the square. Because guard cavalry is pretty darn spooky. There's some artillery coming in. Ah, oh, 20 horse guard cavalry gone immediately. Not only from one actual gun. I'm pretty sure the others are about to fire. Oh no, that was all of them. Broke into a run. Oh, sound bug. Classic. Has to shot the cuirassiers. Charge my cavalry in. Oh, they're wavering. They might. We might route. Nope. <laughs> Sad face. Okay. The great cavalry charge of our time. Okay, first thing to do: pick new quick climb targets. Good, Crossiers are dead. So are these Hussars. To be honest, they've all gone. Let's bring my cavalry back. Good stuff. Blast this unit of Light Dragoons instead. They're sat there giving it all that, thinking they're so tough. As the fire goes in. Oh, those the those the it is the Lusitania Dragoons. Conspiracy. They're sitting at range and they're about to get blasted with canister shot. Despite their serpentine attempts. Boom, boom. Yeah, there they are. 
they go. Yep, enemy cavalry attack has been defeated. No, oh, you guys get back to manning your houses. Do what you do best. You go for the Grenadier Guards, you go for the Swiss Line Infantry. These poor devils are not going to do anything. Because they're so. the already depleted unit. They've lost 160 men. So let's speed up time a little bit. Nope, because the. God, the quick climb, the ferocious quick climb. No regrets. Although these light dragoons charging, or are they gonna. Nope, they're gonna sit at range. Be engaged by our own musketry. As large cavalry silhouettes on the horizon. Cavalry out of the way. <gasps> What's this? Someone firing quick climb. Sh someone firing a howitzer without dropping quick climb shells. A ah, briefcase full of quick climb shells will put a stop to that. There we go. As the 15th Regiment of Foot Colonial Infantry, they've brought Colonial Infantry back to Lisbon in order to defend it. Yeah, but the enemy does not have a solid offensive plan, as per usual, but this time they are suffering greatly from it. These are pretty cool looking Grenadier Guards. And they are going to get to fire. We're not complete animals. Except for when we do stuff like chase men down and make sure we just kill them to the last man. Okay, line infantry. Uh, readdress to give yourself maximum firepower. Yeah. Yeah, that'll... This'll happen. This is just a... Just a bloodbath. Oh no, the second regiment, what are you doing? You're not charging, are you? So that's the first. Oh god, there goes their officer. God, he's. He can't believe it. There he goes. Let's charge the infantry guards with my cavalry. They say they're confident. Let's get these guys fire it well off. Charge straight into them. Take him out. Awesome. Let's make sure our guns are firing canister shot to help deal with this line infantry. Oh, so many dead bodies due to quick climb. This is why it's so good. So these men are guardsmen, so they're not... Not guardsmen, yeah. <laughs> Well, they're foot guards. I'm not going to say they're not guardsmen in my head. You immediately can just pictures like Grenadier Guards and stuff. Okay, let's get my cavalry back out of there. And these guys don't have guard mode on, so they're going to chase them down. But I want my men out of the way quickly, because I want to turn fire at will back on. 
these men that are now not in formation, they're not fully loaded, they can now be destroyed. Yeah, I might triple speed the rest of this because most of them are all... Most of them are dead. There's a couple of units coming in. General's bodyguard has got quick line as a collateral damage against the infantry de la Marina, which I will actually have a look at. They look really good. Yeah. It's the Marines. One garrison line infantry. one general's bodyguard so I'm going to speed up time because those guys they have charged the guns they've not, they're not going to last yeah just bombard with artillery I suppose yeah yeah they, yeah oh <laughs> what a time <laughs> what a time for this to happen yeah let's end the battle there God damn, we only lost 200 men and their garrison's almost completely destroyed. Yes, Spain, what are you going to do? Your entire kingdom is being chipped apart piece by piece. And you only have two cities left. Lisbon, which now doesn't have a garrison. And uh, Tangier, which has a weak garrison. Spain is on the way out. <laughs> I'm going to ignore you. <laughs> you are not worth... Nah, only a matter of time. But let's see how many people join them. Just them. So we're not at war with Spain or the Mughal Empire. That's kind of not good, but we've got that army in Turin that we can immediately rebalance over. And understandably, the Ottomans are now taking the opportunity to... Uh, troops but we have yeah, Madrid is ours though hey they're actually gonna be joined in battle as well apparently we're gonna lose this I don't think we will but I think it's gonna be pretty fun regardless so you think ultimately these guys have one two three four five six seven eight units that can actually attack they got some howitzers that might drop quick climb and be a bit scary but if they make a breach we've got more than enough men to defend the walls so Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for, hopefully, the successful defence of Madrid, but also then the destruction of the Spanish faction and the rotating of our firepower back east. So, thanks for watching, everyone. Cheers.